guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really, really sorry that I haven't filmed a video in like the longest time. I think I haven't uploaded on YouTube for like five or six weeks, which is like the longest break I've ever had since I started. I've literally posted like every four days quite consistently, but I just had a little bit of a break because I just had a lot going on. I've been really, really busy and I just didn't get around to filming for a little while. And to be honest, I didn't really have any that amazing ideas either. So I just thought I'd have a little break, um, get my ideas together and now I am back and I'm gonna try to stick to my usual four day kind of upload schedule so yes as you can see I have no makeup on my face looks really glowy because I am sweating it's so hot in my room I have closed all of the windows and I have like five lights on me so I'm literally sweating out but in today's video I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup using kind of like new drugstore products quite often on my channel I do a lot of high-end sort of products so I thought I'd just switch up a bit and do a little bit of a kind of like more affordable drugstore tutorial today. I was actually kindly sent by Technique Cosmetics a load of their stuff. I don't know if this is new stuff or if it's just their original stuff, but they kindly sent that to me for me to try. So I've basically got like kind of like a full face of Technique makeup. I've never ever tried this brand before, but I'm really excited to try it out because it actually looks really nice. I have swatched a few stuff. Let's just stop rambling and get straight on into it. I actually feel so weird filming again because I haven't filmed in so long. I kind of like don't really know what to do. I feel really awkward. I hope I don't look awkward, but I definitely feel awkward. Oh. So I have a bit of moisturizer on my skin from earlier, but I applied it probably about four hours ago. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of moisturizer again, just to like reprep my skin. I don't have a primer to use in this video but to be honest I don't really use primers anyway I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream which is the sort of moisturizer and primer that I always use so for today's foundation I'm going to be using this flower beauty light illusion foundation which I have used probably once before but I actually can't remember what it looked like on my skin I can't remember if I liked it or not because it was so long ago but to be honest this blew me away then I would have used it again so I don't really think it's all that but I've had a lot of people say that this is really good so anyway I'm going to be using this today in the shade porcelain l1 I'm literally so hot right now I don't know how this makeup is going to actually stick to my face because I feel like I'm just gonna literally sweat it off in about 2.5 seconds I, okay this foundation looks really dewy which I usually like but on a day like today I feel like this just is not going to last on my skin for like five minutes because back and flat it's really hot and I'm probably just going to sweat it all off okay so this is what the foundation looks like all applied I would say it's kind of like a medium coverage with more of a glowy finish um I don't know if it's going to dry down a little bit more because it is very very glowy I think the actual color is quite a good color match for me as well when I'm not fake tan I think it's a pretty good little match so now I'm going to go on with a little bit of concealer so I'm going to use the L'Oreal infallible more than concealer which is I think the newest one that they've bought out again I've used this once or twice before so I haven't really formed a kind of opinion on it yet um but yeah from what I can tell it's quite a rich thick concealer so I'm not going to use too much I've actually been trying to use a lot less product under my eye with concealer because I used to go in with so much and then I used to find that throughout the day my under eye would look really cakey no matter what concealer that I was using and I just kind of came to the conclusion that I was just using too much under my eyes so I'm actually using a lot less than I usually would um, and just sort of pressing that underneath my eyes. This one is quite full coverage, I think. So yeah, a little bit goes quite a long way. That was in the shade Vanilla 326, just for reference. This is literally the first time in probably like weeks that I've done my makeup like full on. Cause I've been wearing such minimal makeup or no makeup for the past few weeks because I've just been like on holiday and chilling out. So yeah, it feels really weird like putting those makeup on, but I kind of love it. Okay, so I need to set this concealer ace up because it's already creasing. It's one of those ones that like creases instantly. So I'm gonna take my all time favorite powder. I have tried so many powders and realized that this is the best powder that ever exists, literally. If you don't have this powder, go and buy it. You will not be sorry. It's the best powder you'll ever use. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. I think I got mine off of Amazon or eBay, but the pot is so big. I don't think I'll ever, get, well, actually I will get through this in my lifetime because this powder is amazing. It doesn't even look like I've used that much, but I literally use this every single time I do my makeup. It is amazing for under the eyes. It's so finely milled. It doesn't give you any flashback. It doesn't make your concealer or your foundation have that kind of darker orangey tinge like some of my other powders do. And I just literally love it. So if you need a new powder, it's like eight pounds. It's super inexpensive. You need to get this one. Only thing that I hate about this powder is the packaging because it's one of them awkward ones where like 
you have to kind of tip it in the lid and then if you get too much you kind of have to keep the lid open so it's not the best powder ever for traveling but I mean I will still continue to use it so I'm actually just gonna press some of the powder onto my beauty blender and then just go straight under my eyes and kind of like bake a little bit I think I'm actually just gonna push it all the way in rather than bake I can't be bothered to bake Right now I'm just going to take my little Charlotte Tilbury brush and I'm just going to dust in that powder and just kind of powder my T-zone because I don't really have oily skin but for whatever reason I look like a sweaty mess right now. Honestly, you could fry an egg on my face. I think this foundation is really dewy, like a little bit too dewy for my liking. So I did actually have this technique, this is kind of like, it says cream foundation and contour palette but I just powdered so... I can't use this now really because I'll have a blotchy mess on my face but to be honest I'm not really the biggest fan of cream products like this I find that quite often the formulas are quite hard to get right and it can easily go very very wrong so I'm not going to use this in today's video by the way I do there is a discount code for technique let me find out what it is so it's summer 10 i'll leave it in the description box and i'll put it on the screen that gets you 10 percent off of techniques so if you like any of the technique products that i'm about to show you can get 10 percent off that isn't an affiliate code i'm not going to be earning any kind of commission off of that it's literally purely just to save your money if you want to use it to get 10 percent off of the website i'm going to link it in the description box below so now i'm going to go in with bronzer this is the technique mega matte mega bronze bronzer why was that so hard yeah this is like a bronzer quad which looks quite cute i'm not really fussy with my bronzers as long as they're not too orange i usually use like any bronzer and love it so yeah this is what it looks like you get kind of like a mixture of like more cooler tones and more kind of like warmer tones up there as well which is really really nice so i'm just gonna take this real techniques brush and i'm actually just gonna go into all four of them because i can't be bothered to like pick one i'm just gonna do all four just as i put my brush in there i don't know if you can see that but there's quite a lot of powdery kind of kick up from that so that's not my fave i feel like this is gonna be really pigmented as well now i've just seen that just gonna go in kind of like the hollows of my cheek kind of okay that's actually really nice like i said i'm not the fussiest with bronzers i usually get along with most of them just as long as they're not too too dark and i'm just gonna go around my hairline as well i think where i powdered my under eye quite a lot there i'm getting a little bit of a weird patchiness from the foundation but i think that was my fault i don't think that is the bronzer's fault or the, the foundation. I'm just gonna ignore that. Have I put too much on? Shit, I've put too much on. I always go too much. Just calm down, love, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna take this clean Charlotte Tilbury brush, and just blend that out because who do I think I am? I'm not this dark. Okay, I am really, oh, I just poked myself in the eye. I am really liking this bronzer. It's giving me a really nice colour without being too much and it hasn't gone patchy at all. So yeah, I'm not actually at this present moment aware of any of the prices of these products. Um, but I know they're from the drugstore, so I'm thinking that they're quite inexpensive. Um, I'm obviously going to find out. And I'm probably going to put them on the screen for you so you know as I'm going along. But I'm pretty sure they're very inexpensive, which will be so good because this will be really good for the price if it's really inexpensive. Um, I'm now just going to try and contour my nose with this shade here, which is kind of the more cool tone, like contoury shades from the palette. Um, I don't usually contour my nose, so I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. But I feel like doing it today, um, and I feel like we can try out. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, I'm not going to contour my nose. I don't know what I'm doing. I literally never ever contour my nose, as you can probably tell, because I'm shit at it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, we're going to forget that ever happened. I'm just going to repowder my nose. Okay, that never happened. Cool. Moving on. I don't really think my nose is that big though, do you? Actually, it probably does need contouring a little bit. Oh well, whatever. So now we're going to go in with some highlight and I'm actually really freaking excited for this because this palette looks really nice. This is, I'm going to break a nail trying to open these. Ugh. I thought my camera wasn't recording then, I was about to die. Okay, I've done it. So this is the Technique Mega Glow Highlighter Palette in the shade 
it doesn't have a shade so it just then just must be one um but again this one has four shades in it these two at the top look pretty white even for me i think these are going to be a tiny bit too pale um so i'm going to go in with this shade here which kind of looks similar to my favorite highlighter which is the bronze goddess by sa lauder which is the limited edition one it looks a very very similar shade so i'm going to go in with that one today and see how that looks i'm going to take my little morphe brush this is one i always use it's the m510 and then i'm gonna go into this one here oh wow shit that looks amazing what the hell i wasn't expecting it to look like that like it's kind of one of those highlighters that you don't see any glitter at all. It's just like a pure sheen. It kind of looks wet. I freaking love that. I'm really annoyed with this patch of my face here because ew, it just went so patchy. You just ignore that. It's not a highlighter. It's just my face. The highlight is amazing. I'm obsessed with that. I'm going to use that all the time. I actually will go as far to say that that is probably nicer looking than my Estee Lauder one. My Estee Lauder one is £38. This one... I don't know how much this one is, but it's probably like under £10, so that's ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to move on to eyeshadow now. I don't want to do blusher just yet because I'm going to kind of do blush according to what I do with my eyeshadow, just so we don't look like a clown by the end of it. The eyeshadow palette that they gave me is called the The Heat Is On palette by, obviously, Technique. Um, let me open it so you can see it better. This palette looks well up my street. I love the colours in this palette. They're very, like, warm and orangey. I really like warm tone eyeshadows just because my hair is more of a warm kind of brownie red and my eyes are warmer. I don't really like cool tone shade so this palette is literally perfect for me so this is what it looks like i have swatched a few it definitely is more like autumny and wintry but i kind of love that because that's like the sort of colors that i always use so i don't really know what i'm going to do with this yet okay so i'm just going to start off with this shade at the bottom it's kind of like a warmish brown but it's quite light it's one of the lightest ones in the palette and i'm just going to take this on a morphe brush and i'm just literally going to take that actually what are... i'm going to take this all over the lid actually i've been really enjoying doing this recently just doing like a matte brown on the eyes and then really blending it out actually really pigmented like I haven't really gone in with that many layers and it's layering really well and it's coming out nice and chocolatey brown which is what I wanted it to honestly I think some of these more inexpensive palettes nowadays are just so comparable to more higher end expensive palettes that it's almost just like why would you even buy a more high-end palette when these ones are literally just as good and they're for like a fraction of the price I'm just gonna blend this out with a clean brush. So, so far this is literally just one shade. I know this is a really boring eye look, like it's really simple. I really love doing this look, I think it looks so nice. Especially if you're just gonna do like a wing liner, lashes, love it. I don't know if you can see but I'm getting a tiny bit of patchiness here. I don't know if that's my fault because I just can't blend. But I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and just pack on more colour there because it's not really picking up the colour as well there as I want it to. Okay, now I'm going to take that same small brush and I'm just going to run the same shade under my lower lash line and then just kind of connect it to what we've already done just so that it blends in really nicely. Right, now I'm going to go in with this Coal Eyeliner. This, again, is from Technique, and this is the Coal Eyeliner in the shade Black. I'm going to do a little wing with this. Okay, this isn't as creamy as I wanted it to be. I thought it would be more like my Charlotte Tilbury one, which is kind of like this powdery sort of feel, but a little bit more creamy. This one's quite hard to get the pigment out. Okay, I'm not a fan of this pencil. It's making my life really hard to get a good wing. If I'm gonna be honest. It's just too dry and like, I don't know if you can see, but bits keep like crumbling off. So when you press too hard, you actually just get crumbly bits, which isn't ideal. I'm gonna take the black that's in the palette and go over this liner to try and save it a little bit. So I'm gonna take this kind of flattish brush. This is the 234 from Zoeva. And we're gonna kind of go with like a smudgy wing.
Okay, this is way more intense and smoky than I wanted it to come out. Right, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more, do a little bit more blending, and then I'm gonna come back when I've done my other eye and my lashes just to see what the end look looks like. Um, I'm just gonna play around with the wing a bit more, make it a bit more sharp, so I will see you guys in a sec. Right, so I'm back. As you can see, I've got lashes on now. These are the GWA lashes in the style Elegance Lash. I've never used these before, but I actually really, really like the way they look. I'm now just gonna go in with that exact same highlight shade that we used earlier and just put that in my inner corners because I feel like this look needs a little bit more brightening up. I did just go in with a little bit more of the black eyeshadow underneath my lash line and then just put the cold pencil in my waterline. That's all I've kind of added to the eyes and just did a little bit more blending because it was looking quite messy but it's definitely more of a grungy look anyway. I'm not sure if I'm loving completely the way it's turned out but we're gonna go with it anyway. Just gonna take this on a small brush, just put that in my inner corner. So that is all I'm going to do for the eyes for now. I'm now going to move on to brows. This brow pencil looks amazing. This is a Technique Ultra Fine Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade... Okay, it doesn't have a shade on it, but this shade looks quite... Because I swatched it earlier, it looks quite kind of um, warm for me. My eyebrows, I don't know if you can tell, but they're quite uh, cool toned, quite ashy, almost verging on like grey. So I tend to go for more like ashy, greyer brow pencils. This one's quite warm, so we're going to see how this turns out. I don't know how well it's going to look but I'm just going to do like really fine little brow strokes and then just go through with some clear gel just to kind of set them. So I like to feel more kind of in the top of my brow because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural and then when you brush it through you can't really see the pencil as much but you've still got that shape there. I'm just going to go in now with a bit of clear brow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak, which is my favourite one. Just going to brush up all my hairs so they all stay in the same place. Now for lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nude Pink. So I'm just going to slightly overline my lips with this. Kind of fill it in a little bit because I don't actually have a lipstick that's new from the drugstore. gloss I'm gonna go in with the Technique Lip Lust in the shade. Okay, I don't think this has a shade. It's just this pink one with like a little bit of shimmer through it. It's really pretty. I really like that gloss. It's really pretty actually. Quite a cute like baby pink colour with a tiny bit of like gold glitter running through it. It's like very up my street. I love glosses like that. So now I just have to put on a bit of blush and the palette that they gifted me was the Blusher Quad in the shade. Okay this doesn't have a shade as well. They like not putting shades on their products don't they? Maybe they only just have one but this is again four shades in one blusher palette and again I think I'm just gonna mix but I don't want to put too much blush on. Just a little bit. And then I'm just going to grab up my bronzer brush and just kind of go over it so it's not as pink. Right, and that is pretty much it, guys. So that is the finish look. So this is my full face of makeup using all drugstore products and mostly Technique. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by pretty much everything that I use from Technique. I'd say the only thing that I didn't really like was that pencil, that cold pencil. But other than that, everything else is really, really lovely. So if you did want to pick anything up, make sure you use that discount code because that will get you 10% off. I'll leave it in the description box, as I said. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.